If Muhammad Atta had you people booking his travel, he'd still be alive today, which from his perspective would be a massive fuck up. Yeah, it didn't go very well. You think? Ma'am, FYI, we're tracking a school shooting in Spokane, Washington. Oh, Muslim or white guy? Don't know yet. Which is better for me? White guy. Fingers crossed. Okay, guys, what happened at the airport today can never, ever happen again. And so, as such, I have had it. Okay. I have had Amy prepare a full autopsy of the last campaign to specifically identify problem areas within the organization. Hmm. Okay, so Amy. Thank you, ma'am. I have put together a summary list of what I discovered were the most egregious flaws. I said flaws this already. This is what I just said. Yeah. Great. First and foremost, there was a reluctance on the part of the candidate to take responsibility for mistakes. What? No, you were the one that made mistakes. What else? Go on. Uh, second, there was a culture of blame which made people feel unsafe expressing criticisms. What dumb asshole said that? Number three, an unwillingness to actually discuss strategies and share ideas okay. with campaign yeah. staff. Right. Autopsy Four, is now <laughs> over. Forget about it. Oh my God, how many pages is this, 500? How about I write 500 pages about how you need to start wearing concealer? <laughs> All right. James, can I get a copy of that? Guys, this is not going to be a repeat of my last <laughs> campaign. I am new Selena. Now. Exactly. So I'm going to shake things up. I'm going to hire Keith Quinn. Well, he's already doing oppo for Kapoor's people. I'm going to offer him campaign manager. I thought I was your campaign manager. I thought I was going to Cedar Falls. Cedar Rapids. Now, we have another candidate announcing for president. Oh, all right. Well, I'm going to go out on a limb and say white guy. I was reminded of another innovator by the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you. Two wheelchair guys behind him? What, we didn't get the point with the first one? I got it. One wheelchair guy, good for you. Two wheelchair guys, shame on me. <laughs> Thank you.